In part 5 of our Kappa video series, we will demonstrate using FreeQMS as a Kappa manager, named User1, to review the activities closed in part 4, and to create a new Kappa activity for corrective action and for verification of effectiveness in light of the information generated through our containment and investigation activities. We will start by logging in as User1. From here, we'll select the Kappa module. Let's select the Kappa created early on in our video series. This video is meant to show a step-by-step -step process, but with abbreviated fictional information. As you work through the Kappa process, there will no doubt be many times when the person running the Kappa, typically the administrator, has to stop and consider the best course of action. In this fictional example, we've completed some Kappa activities, but the Kappa is far from done. A great example is the risk field. This Kappa's investigation is finished, but the risk has not been populated. This is a great time to review the activities and add more information to the Kappa. Let's click Kappa Activities. We can see here the investigation root cause and the containment activities are closed. Let's click each one to see what information we can add to our Kappa. First, we'll click Containment. Here's a great piece of fictional information. In this Kappa example, we have to shut down manufacturing lines producing product from our affected engineering specs. This means we're at risk for not building or shipping product. This also means our manufacturing area is shut down and may be subject to a facility restart or requalification depending on the internal procedure. Let's return to the Information tab. We need to update our Kappa with this info. We'll click the Edit button. Under Risk posed by Problem, we will add, This problem poses a risk to manufacturing. Lines producing product from our affected engineering specs are shut down. The company is at risk for not building or shipping product. Patients are at risk who require the product. Distributors are at risk who are expecting timely product. The facility is at risk pending restart procedures. Walking through this process helps identify additional items to add to our Kappa that we will then potentially correct. Let's click Add Kappa Item. In a real-world scenario, we would likely change the top field to Supplier, and then select each distributor affected by this Kappa. Since this is an abbreviated demo, we will leave the top selection as write-in and then enter Product Distributors in the title field. Although there are many options here, our fictional company is compliant to ISO 13485, so for requirement we will enter ISO 13485-2106. We have a procedure for notifying customers, in this case, distributors, of problems with our product. Under Notes, we'll put Create action to notify distributors. Let's click Add Kappa Item again. We'll leave the top field as write-in. This time we'll enter Facility Restart in our title. Our requirement will be internal SOP that governs facility restarts. For notes, facility must be restarted after shutdown. Remember, we identified our production lines as any item affected during this Kappa as we updated our risk. Let's click the Add button. Great, we've updated our Kappa items with items identified during our first two activities. Let's take another look at the investigation activity. We'll click Kappa Activities. From here, we want to check out the investigation root cause activity, having already explored the containment. Remember, we're logged in as the Kappa administrator and looking for the next logical steps on this Kappa. Let's review the investigation conclusion and root cause. It looks like our root cause identified that the ultimate source of this problem is that our change order process does not consider risk or compliance to ISO 14971. In this fictional example, this means that we're processing change orders and updating specifications without considering their compliance to ISO 14971. In our fictional example, our root cause analysis has identified a likely additional corrective action that will need to take place as part of our Kappa. We need to resolve the issue with change orders to fix this problem. Let's click the Information tab. We're going to scroll down and click the Add Kappa Items button once again to add our change order process as something that needs a corrective action. We'll leave the top field as write-in. Our title will be Change Order Process and Form. Remember, we're going to correct the underlying deficiency. For requirement, we will cite one of the core clauses of ISO 13485-2016. For notes, we'll put Discovered During Root Cause Investigation. Let's click the Add button. 
Great, now we've added the Kappa items discovered during our containment and investigation root cause activities. It's time to create the rest of the activities required to close out this Kappa based on information gathered so far. Let's scroll up and click Kappa Activities. We're going to create a series of Kappa activities to address the identified issues. Click Create Kappa Activity, then Correction. We're going to breeze through this form. Let's make a correction to notify the distributors of affected product. Activity status, new. Description, notify distributors of affected products. Assign to, we're going to assign this to user three. This is our quality specialist who handles corrections and corrective actions. Start date would be today. Due date would be a week from now. Complete date, we do not know yet. Legacy record, we're going to put NA. Here's where we get into some of the great FreeQMS functionality. We don't need to correct every item on this Kappa. We just want to correct the product distributors, so we'll select that Kappa item. Correction and risk posed by correction will be filled out by the person performing this activity. Let's click Create. Great, we have our first correction. Let's click the Create Kappa Activity button and select Correction again. We'll quickly go through this form again. Activity status is new. Description, restart facility after instituting corrective actions. Assigned to user 3, our specialist in handling corrections and corrective actions. Start date, a week from now. Due date, one month from now. Complete date, we don't know yet. Legacy record ID is NA. Kappa items, here again we only want to select the item being corrected. Facility restart correction and risk posed by correction will be completed by the person doing these activities. Let's click the Create button. Great, we have both of our corrections created. Now let's create the big activity, the one we came for, the corrective action. The resulting form is the same as other activities but with different final fields. We'll fill this out. Activity status new. Description, update change control form to assess risk per ISO 14971, assess engineering specifications in order of build importance. Assigned to user three, our quality specialist who will handle the corrective action. Start date is today. Due date is a month from now. Complete date we don't know yet. Legacy record ID, NA. Kappa items. We're going to select our change process and form. This is the Kappa item we determined to be the true root cause of our issue and the one most in need of a long-term corrective action. The next fields will be left to user three. Let's click the create button. Now we have our corrective action created, but there's one step left. We need to make sure we're correct, and the only way to do that is through verification of effectiveness. The verification of effectiveness activity, commonly abbreviated VOE, is meant to serve as a long-term quality check on our work. Let's click the Create Kappa Activity button and then Verification of Effectiveness. Once again, the activity form is the same except the final fields. Activity Status New Description Verify updates to change order form address engineering specification conformance to ISO 14971 risk management. Assigned to User 3 the Quality Specialist. Start date 6 months from now. Due date seven months from now. Complete date is unknown. Legacy record ID is NA. Kappa items, change order process and form. Verification of effectiveness plan will be completed by user three. Let's click create. Great, this should be everything we need to finish a Kappa. In the next part of our video series, we'll work as a quality specialist user three to complete these items. We won't see our user 1 Kappa Administrator again until it's time to close the Kappa.